Hey guys, it's American Choir Boy here with part eight of the AC blog. Today, I'm doing a Q&A, questions and answers. I've asked you to send me questions you'd like to know about me or my stream and what I do. And uh, so today we're gonna, we're gonna tackle those. And I have a list right here and the people who ask them, I'll shout you out and say hi. And first up are questions from Glenn the Frog. And uh, he's my MVP, he's my running dog. He's uh, by now one of the main reasons I stream. Uh, but probably my number one perler customer. So he asked, uh, how did I get into making perlers? Now as a lot of you know, I make perler giveaways for Caleb Hart 42's stream. Uh, that's the first place I saw perlers being made. And this would have been, uh, you know, uh, late 2014. And uh, this was after my uh, girlfriend had left me, and I needed something to, you know, occupy my time and, and to help keep me busy. But also, I thought there was a chance she might come back. Um, so I thought, you know, hey, let me make her a perler. Um, so that's how I got into it. So Caleb, and I'm not saying Caleb actually inspired me per se, but um, I think the thing that truly inspired me is when I just went to try it to see what all the fuss was about. The biggest thing that really made me want to do it was when I did it for myself. And because all the pearls I had seen were like full of holes, like they just ironed them a little bit until the sides of the beads, you know, would melt. And um, there'd be holes left in them. Well, when I ironed my first one, which was an Inuyasha perler, I noticed that if you ironed it enough, the beads would square up. And I hadn't seen that until I actually did it. I'm like, you know, I said, Wow, it looks like pixels. It looks real. It looks like I pulled it right out of a video game. And that's when I knew. I'm like, this is cool, and I, I want to keep making these, you know. So, I uh, say so Caleb partly inspired it, but when I did that, that was when I knew that this is this is cool. I really want to do it. That's kind of how I got into it. Um, Glenn also asked, uh, any other arts or crafts? Not really. The one thing I'd love to do is um, learn the wet-on-wet -wet technique that Bob Ross taught on his painting show, The Joy of Painting. Um, it looks so much fun, like just so creative, like perlers, I don't consider horribly creative or, or artistic, you know, it's just kind of like putting together pieces of a puzzle. It's, it's, it's a fun hobby, but you know, to do the wet on wet technique and paint, that's, that's something I'd be really interested in doing. So, um, maybe one day, uh, I, w I could do that. Then, um, he also asked favorite TV show and I can't really peg a favorite tv show per se but some of my favorites especially when i was growing up would be spongebob square pants just because it's zany and silly and uh, a lot of funny like in jokes for the adults i watched a lot of shows like that hey arnold um as told by ginger the rugrats a lot of like nicktoon shows and old school disney shows doug was a pretty good one also saw some or watched some anime like dragon ball z i was crazy about that show for a period of my life uh don't like it much anymore. Another one of the shows that I picked up recently or, you know, recent years would be My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I actually love that show. It's coherent and it has um, real dilemmas. And most of the time it's really good lessons taught by really, you know, well-developed characters. So it's one of the most perfect kid shows. It's kind of the Winnie the Pooh of my day or of this, this day, you know, which is another good show. The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. That's another great show. That's one of my favorites, too. Um, so those are some of my favorites there. And then Glenn the Frog asks, Art Cole or Perler? Both. Um, Art Cole does have more colors, uh, number-wise. But um, Art uh, Perler does have colors that they don't have either. So um, you need both in order to really make uh, good Perlers or good Perler crafts. Art Cole, Perler crafts, you know. So, uh, you gotta use both. Moving along, the next person who asked questions was Ausfox. Uh, and her first question is, what is your favorite color? Uh, it's green. That's my username color, and that's also her username color. So, um, I think it started when I was a little kid, and, uh, I made a Pinewood Derby car with my dad, and painted it green. And, uh, it, it won every race. It won every single race that it, that it went, and, uh, I want to say that's one of my earliest remembrances of saying, you know, I want green. It's, it's the best color. I would have been six or seven at the time. 
So uh, that's my favorite color. Pizza toppings. I like a lot of things, really. I don't. I'm not too picky about pizza. One of my favorite pizzas would probably be chicken and uh, green pepper with white sauce. And uh, I also love tomatoes. I love tomatoes a lot. And uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else for pizza. But next she asked, uh, favorite music from video game. And uh, one remarkable thing I can think of in video game music was the uh, OST for Ocarina of Time. You know, back then the, the N64 game didn't have great sound on it. I mean, at the time it was pretty good, but it's like, no, nah, it's, it's, it's kind of cheap and whatever. But the OST was featured a live orchestra. And the arrangements on it were, you know, great and uh, very high quality. If no one's... No, you've all had Never mind. I'm saying. You've all heard, you've all heard it, haven't you? But um, that's one of the most remarkable... Like, before Super Mario Galaxy, you know, uh, OST came out, you know, Ocarina of Time had it. So, um, that's probably my favorite entry into video game music was the Ocarina of Time OST. Uh, next, Osfox asks, who did I start watching? And um, it was actually Trihex. Um, but I didn't watch him long. See, I had, I had seen some speedrunners on YouTube. And um, I thought it was cool. And then I learned that they streamed. And I'm like, what does that mean? You know, and, they, and then I learned about Twitch. And I went on there and tried to look around. And I found one of the runners with Trihex who had ran Yoshi's Island. And um, well, I'm going to bring up Caleb Hart again. Man, he's a common theme. I asked Trihex's chat, who is the most passionate or dedicated speedrunner? And five people immediately jumped up and said, Caleb Hart 42. So Caleb was one of the ones I started watching mostly for a long time. I was, I was, eventually I was there every day. I had subscribed, you know, shortly after I started watching. So that's mainly who I started watching. I didn't watch Trihex too much. I'm not sure why. He's a cool guy. He's a great guy. Um... So anyway, mostly Caleb for the start. I'm not, not sure who I started watching after that. I started watching Tesichka, who's uh, a great streamer who does variety, as well as Snowlit, who's a variety streamer. Um, Linksaria, same deal. Those were kind of the first ones I sat and watched. Um, also, Loop on the Mailman. He was one who helped me get streaming, too. I haven't seen him in a long time, and I really miss him. Uh, so, he was one of the early ones, and he's. I, I still would love to see him come back and stream. So, um, uh, moving on. iGreeny asked me, uh, like, if I had a favorite sushi. I've never eaten sushi. I don't know what it's about. Um, I, I know it's not just raw fish, but I don't, I don't know what the culture is. I've never eaten it, really, at all. So, maybe someone could enlighten me on that. On where I should go and what I should try, I don't know. So, no, no sushi. Favorite bead color, she also asked. And um, I can't really peg one, like, looking at a color and saying what my favorite ones are. Probably the greens, because that's my favorite color, period. But the, the, the color spectrum between Perler and Art Cole is actually limited compared to the overall spectrum, because it's, you know, kind of infinite. But anyway... Um, my favorite bead color would actually be, like, to, to, to twist the question, my favorite bead color is the one that fits the image I'm working on. So when I look at a bead color and I say, butterscotch, or uh, raspberry, S34, and it, like, perfectly matches that image, I'm like, that's my favorite color for that moment. Uh, next up is Gearlock, and he asked, uh, cool secret talents. Um... And I couldn't really think of anything offhand other than uh, I almost never call into work. That seems to be a talent because a lot of people do. I'm really good at saving money. Um, and I'm good at eating food. If anyone wants to know about how well I eat food, ask Rowdy Scott Bear um, about our trip to Longhorn when we met up in, for, to eat steak. Ask him about that. That was kind of a, kind of a talent. Next up, Gearlock asked my name, and uh, it's Aaron. It's spelled with two A's, A-A-R-O-N. It's not something I keep secret. It's just not something I put on my stream, but a couple people have addressed me as Aaron in chat, and I, I didn't care. It, it doesn't matter. 
So, um, and anyone who's ordered a perler from me, I do address my perlers correctly. So they come back to me if there's a problem. So anyone who's ordered a perler will see my name as well. It's not a secret. It's just, I never, I don't know. Call me American choir boy, ACB doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Um, he also asked, what is my most prized possession? And I can't say I own anything that I would hold above like something sacred, you know, like my life or somebody else's happiness or something like that. I don't want to sound too pure about it. I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a whole lot. I have some nice things. I have this microphone as a nice, you know, I spent a lot of money on that. Got a TV. I guess it'd be my computer because I use that more than anything else. And uh, I built it myself as well. So I guess it's when you're talking material possessions, it, it just have to be my computer. So um, I guess if we're talking material, that's what it is. But if we're talking in general, I mean, life itself. <laughs> I don't know. My, my spirit, I guess. So it just depends on what you mean. Okay, next up, we have some questions from Background Guy 2 um, how long have I been doing perlers? I think I just mentioned it in the videos, but I'll say it again. It was late 2014. So, um, about two years. And also in conjunction with that question, I've made, um, let me check real quick. Was it in here? I've made almost 300. Yeah. I made almost 300 perlers since then. And, uh, so I had two years. What's the perler I'm most happy with? And uh, a lot of perlers I've made would probably fit that description. But I'll choose an early one because I got lucky on this one. But anyway, here's an Aholian Shield I made. This went to Joe DeBarro. It was the first sub giveaway. And um, I loved it because I ironed it so perfectly. It was perfectly flat. The bead sealed up completely perfect. And I used, uh, if you can tell, I used pearl silver for the outer part. And it looks like studs. And that would be so cool if they would put that in the game, you know? You'd be like, have studs and they would maybe grip your opponent when you, you know, in a Zelda game. You, you bash it and it grips them and you could like, it would do something. Be a neat mechanic. But anyway, looks like something they would put in there though when you're making a shield. Put studs around for extra protection. So that might be one of the most I'm happy with, mostly. Uh, next up, favorite part of streaming is the interaction. Um, as some of you know, I, I don't care too much to have lurkers. And what I mean is since I like interaction so much, I, I don't, I don't like the idea that I'd have a lot of people watching me and enjoying me and they don't want to support me in any way. And the, one of the best ways to support me is to just talk back. Um, that is my favorite part of streaming is the interaction. And to, to put that in the context, I was like, if I had a thousand people watching me, and there was no chat interaction, no donations, no follows or anything, just 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 watching me, you know. And that was literally all I ever got from Twitch. I wouldn't stream. So my favorite part's the interaction. So as long as I have people, you know, interacting, the lurkers can they can lurk. It's just if that's all I had, I wouldn't be happy. So I guess I feel a little bit um I, I feel like Everybody who comes in my chat should in some way interact with me. Um, if they don't, that's fine. I'll never, like, you know, be mad at lurkers. I just, I want interaction. That, that's the best part for me. I can't stream alone. That's that's the big thing. What plans for the future of my stream? Um, And I wanted to talk about this outside of the questions and answers as well. Is one of the big things I want to do is vary my content. I want to speed run a good handful of games, kind of casual speed run, like learning them and understanding how they work. Not so much just trying to grind down a good time. Um, I want to do more creative stuff. Like I said, uh, I, I wouldn't mind learning how to paint wet on wet. And that'd be really cool to stream that if I had the, the area to do it properly. Uh, I can get the equipment, no problem. That I could place an order right now and have it everything I would need shipped but I don't really have room I couldn't do it here I'm gonna get paint everywhere I'd have to do it like in a garage or the basement where I'd you know concrete floor whatever um, I need to get out of my own before I can really do that um, unless maybe I could buy a real small one and get some basic just little bitty paints and just do a tiny little one maybe I could try that 
So, um, but the other thing is for the future, I do want my stream to be kind of a hangout stream. Like I said, I like interaction. So above me streaming things, I want people coming in and enjoying it. So for the future, one of the things I've started on, you guys suggested a discord. So I made it and I, I kind of like it where I'm getting into where, uh, I'm getting some interaction from you guys through that. And what's nice about that is I don't have to stream to get that. So I got a cool place. Discord's a great app for that. Got a little place where I don't have to be streaming. We can still interact. So, um, and another part was the AC blog. That's why I started it because I want simple, quick videos that, uh, you don't have to, I don't have to be streaming. You can just come in and check it. It might be one minute long. You know, some of them are really short. So, um, that's another way you can sit and watch me and, uh, see what's going on. So that's the, the, for the future of my stream, I want just more of that, more people coming in for me and um, also for me to really connect with my users or my, my viewers. And um, so I hope to grow and get more viewers in so I can interact with them on that level and we can really uh, interact on, on just what I'm doing, not because I'm doing something like speed running. It's just, you want to see what I'm doing you don't care about what I'm because that's how I watch people. I don't care necessarily about what most people I watch are streaming. I want to be there to see their, their struggle or whatever they're doing um, as a person. That's mostly who I watch. So that's kind of what I want to see in my stream as well. I want people to go, what's what's Choir Boy up today? Up to today? Let's go see, and uh, you know maybe I could have something different to do every day. You know that'd be maybe when I get out on my own, I could actually stream. Uh, myself cooking almost like a day-to-day -day. it'd be like a reality show that'd be fun for me um and it gives me opportunities to be with you know my my internet friends more i love my internet friends my twitch friends so um it will allow people to become a bigger part of my life so if i get on my own i can kind of do that format that'd be cool so that be, might be a plan for the future as well um yeah, i kind of went on a tangent there but no biggie all right the last one from background guy was um Massive mural perler. Would I ever do a massive mural, like, you know, cover a wall? And I actually had an idea before, was to take some of my favorite album art from, you know, some of the bands I listen to. There's some really good ones. And um, make a big one, like, maybe this big, something like a mural. I would thought about that, doing that. That would be cool. Maybe one day I'll, I'll have an opportunity and uh, I'll find a good way to, to make it. And just, just, yeah, make a big giant one. I, I, I have thought of it. So, um, yeah, we, we could, maybe one day you will see a big giant one, especially if it can be put up somewhere public and I could take pictures of that or, you know, post that around, show, show that to people. That'd be really neat. Okay. Next up, Ishi Panda, my favorite Panda, least favorite thing about streaming. See, she went the opposite way. Least favorite thing about streaming is a dead chat. Like I said, I don't like streaming alone. I, I can have fun with what I'm streaming, but the reason I'm streaming is so people will see it. Because streaming doesn't do anything for me, you know? Like I said, if no one was interacting with it. So a dead chat to me is when, when, when I'm just, I like interacting with people. So I guess it's kind of the same answer as the favorite part of streaming. It just It's the opposite. It's, you know, it's the opposite end of the spectrum. So I want people in chat. I want to be able to interact with them. I've been real discouraged before too when I'm streaming and like I'm doing things that are cool, you know. People praise me for my perlers, but like one time I made I made this uh, 32 perler when Caleb got the 32. It was gold Mega Man X holding up a 32, and I'm like this is gonna be the most hype thing ever. No one showed up to the stream, and I was like, ah, oh, that's my least favorite part. That's then it, it just it kind of hurt, you know. I don't need a lot of people. Trust me, I'm not sitting here going, oh, why am I partner yet? Why don't I have a thousand people? You know, I'm doing it. It's like, no, I don't. I had five people in my chat through it. I'm like, man, this is awesome. This is great. So, um, yeah, the dead chat just gets on my nerves sometimes. Um, then she asked, what is my most proud accomplishment? And this might seem mundane, but I'm 28 years old and I don't have any debt. And I feel it's just because I've made good choices. I uh, still live at home, but I don't want to risk it out there. I don't want something, you know, st I want to be ready to go out. So I'm I'm, I'm proud that I'm debt-free, and I, I most likely will stay that. 
And in the same hand, I guess I'm also thankful for my circumstances. So, um, yeah, just being able to, when I, when I'm on my own, I'm, I'm going to be completely self-reliant and, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm also proud of like the hard work I've done at my jobs that I've worked over the past 10 years. I've done really well. I've impressed a lot of people and, uh, I, I feel good when I do a good, good day's work. And, uh, I'm almost, I've only called off a small handful of times in the past 10 years. So just kind of my work ethic, I guess. And, uh, my ability to save money. I am proud of that. Next is she asks, what is missing from the stream? And, uh, I guess we've covered this, you know, I want more, more people to interact with. Um, I guess to touch more on the idea that I'd like to be on my own, have a, a better space to stream in would be nice. It would be what my stream needs. Also better internet. You know, I can make high quality videos and upload them to YouTube and everything. It's just a matter of time. But when I'm streaming, as you guys know, this DSL ain't working out so well. Um, I'd like to be able to stream upwards of 1800 to 2000 kilobits per second. And then that, that'd be fine. Um, I hear fiber internet supposed to be coming to my town sometime soon. So I hope we can increase the stream quality. Um, that's probably the biggest thing that's missing actually is the ability to make a good quality looking stream. Cause I'm not happy with my stream quality. It works, but it's not, it's probably one of the biggest things missing. Uh, finally, our last question from Ishi, and the last question I'm going to answer for you guys is why the username American Choir Boy? And it stems back to many years ago when I was kind of trying to find my identity. And uh, I came up with this idea because I was like, one of the things I tried to latch onto was this like patriotism for America. And uh, I mean, I love America. I am a patriot, but not in the way I, I thought I was. You know, back then I thought, you know, I'm all for this, like, you know, the, the country's ideals or, uh, you know, I, I support the war and this, that and stuff. And, um, like America, it does no wrong. You know, it was just kind of like that. That was the American part. I mean, I was, I was proud to do that, you know, to be that, have that ideology. Um, then choir boy is, comes from, I was in the choir for a while and I love choirs and, uh, I can sing if I get back into practice, I, I, maybe I could do some, maybe that could be future plans for the stream is do some singing i might even record some christmas songs for you guys and upload them as part of the blog series but um so i'm choir boy i can sing and uh so you put those two things together and i'm american choir boy but it's still true today um it's it's just that nowadays i'm not patriotic in the sense that um i'm for our leaders um, I don't want to get too political, but I'm not, I'm not happy in, in general with our electoral process. Um, who's in charge. I, um, I think, I guess I hate we, that we vote for people. I'm not for people. I'm for good philosophy and morals. And I believe America was founded on good philosophy and morals. I think our founding fathers nailed something beautiful when, you know, with the original idea for this country. So it's the ideals and the philosophy that I'm patriotic for. And even if we've had evil before us that handed that down, I'm still proud to be who I am because even if they did those things, they, they still paved the way for me to be, be free, you know, and I'm, I, they don't, they don't expect me to, you know, keep going in the way they did. They said, you know, we did what we did, pass it on to you and go with it. So, um, like I said, I, I'm very proud to be an American as in who I am and based on that general philosophy. As far as the the people in charge, and I mean as a whole, I don't belong to a party. I can't get behind groups, really. So it's the ideology that I'm American. And uh, still love choirs, too. So that's why the username. Then one more question that I came up with, which some of you might, might ask. Um, I always disable comments on YouTube. And the reason is, is because I'm making more and more videos. I don't want to have one more thing to manage. I don't want to have to come and see that some troll has come in. I don't want to check all these, you know, through YouTube. So I disable comments. Um, anybody who wants to, to um, talk, come to the Twitch channel and uh, whisper me or send me a private message. Or if you're in the disc choir on Discord, you know, that's where I, those are the main places I want to talk. Maybe Twitter. You know, I check Twitter too. 
But um, I just don't want one more thing to manage down here. Like I said, I have to. I like live. Uh, the live aspect of Twitch where we can handle it as it comes, and uh, you know, so. And I guess that's gonna be it for this uh, post. Uh, thanks you guys for the questions. And I hope you enjoyed watching this and give you some insight on what's going on. And uh, I will see you guys later. Love you all and have a great day.